Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This project will lead us to hierarchical trust management for wireless sensor network and this application to trust based routing and intrusion detection. In this project, we are going to design a hierarchical trust management protocol for wireless sensor network to effectively deal with selfish or malicious node. In our system, we consider multiple trust attributes to evaluate the trustworthy nodes in wireless sensor network. The novel probability model is used to characterize the heterogeneous WSN to evaluate the original status of a sensor node in wireless sensor network. Our hierarchical trust management protocol is validated by comparing the trust generated by the execution of our protocol and the trust obtained from the original status of a node. The adequacy of our protocol is evaluated by applying our protocol in trust-based geographic routing and trust-based intrusion reduction. The performance of our application is improved by detecting trust composition and trust formation. The trust-based geographic routing achieves higher ratio in message delivery and deliver the message without delay by means of flooding based routing method. The false positive and false negatives are minimized by using an optimal trust threshold in trust-based intrusion deduction. Finally, we prove that our trust-based intrusion deduction is effective than traditional anomaly-based intrusion deduction in deduction probability and false positive probability. Now we are going to see the project flow. First, we create n clusters with n sensor nodes and a cluster head for each cluster. Then we calculate distance between all sensor nodes and cluster head and deduct the initial energy of each nodes. Then we evaluate the SPN model for all sensor nodes and a cluster head. First, we find the subjective trust of the sensor node. Then we find the objective trust. By comparing both the trust, we evaluate the overall trust of a sensor node. Then we deduct the trustworthy nodes by means of a trust value of each node to send message from the base station to the sync. After designing the protocol, we validate our protocol by applying our protocol in trust-based geographic routing and trust-based intrusion deduction. We evaluate the message delivery ratio of our protocol and the copies generated by trust-based geographic routing. Then by comparing the trust-based geographic routing with uh, traditional geographic routing to validate our protocol. Then, we evaluate the system lifetime based on the trust value. Then we deduct the probability of various ideas schemes to evaluate the deduction probability of our protocol. Finally, we evaluate the performance of our protocol based on intrusion deduction probability. Now we are going to see the demo of the whole process. First, we create a wireless sensor network with a two clusters with a cluster head then we create sensor nodes by bounce clicking in the inside the clusters and in cluster 2 we create n sensor nodes then we evaluate the initial energy for each nodes in this network then we find distance between each nodes in the cluster and the cluster head first we calculate the distance and after calculating the distance, we get a message like distance successfully calculated. Then we view the distance by clicking the view button. Then we are going to evaluate the SPN model for all sensor nodes and a cluster head. First, we find the transition energy of each node. The transition energy for selfish node at time t is 26.667 and the transition energy for selfish cluster head at time t is 53.333. Hence, here we have to note that cluster head needs more energy than the sensor node. Then we find the t selfish for each node in the sensor network. After evaluating this uh, T selfish, we get a message T selfish successfully computed. Then we find the T compromised for all nodes. 
after calculating t energy t service and t compromised we, need, we are going to view the spn model for all nodes by clicking the view spn model we are going to view the SPN for each node and a cluster head with the node ID, energy level, selfishness, redemption and compromise. Then we are going to evaluate the trust for all the nodes. First we are going to compute the trust, of, trust direct of nodes in time t. Uh, by clicking the tij of x, t we are going to evaluate the trust for all nodes. Then we are going to view the trust evaluated by our protocol here we are seeing the trust value for our protocol then we are going to deduct the trustworthy node by clicking the trustworthy nodes we are calculating the overall trust for each nodes by comparing the subjective trust and objective trust we are going to see the trustworthy nodes in the text area then we are applying our protocol in trust based routing now we are going to see the delivery ratio of our trust based geographic routing against traditional geographic routing. By clicking the view button we are going to see the graph which shows that our trust based geographic routing achieves more ratio in message delivery than geographic routing. Then we are going to message overhead that is the ratio of message delivered without delay by our trust based geographic routing and the traditional geographic routing. By clicking the view button we are going to see the graph which shows that our trust based geographic routing generate minimum number of copies than the traditional geographic routing. Then we are going to see the intrusion deduction by our trust based intrusion deduction. First we are see going to view the system lifetime based on our trust based intrusion deduction and the anomaly intrusion deductions. By clicking the view button we are showing the number of deductions detected by our trust based intrusion deduction. Then we are going to compare the performance of various idea scheme. The final graph shows that our trust based intrusion deductions achieves more probability in deduction probability and false positive probability than the weighted summation based ideas and trust based intrusion deduction. Thank you for watching us.